Right. Here we go. We are back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. Denise Graves is my guest. She's in town. Uh, if you just joined us, shame on you. You shouldn't be late, but you can catch it all online. So you mentioned your foundation earlier. Let's talk about the foundation because that is also how people can get more, uh, more information. The YouTube video that you have on the foundation website is awesome. Uh, and for Pittsburghers who want to support this effort, that's a great place for them to start, correct? Well, our inspiration is really tied to Pittsburgh. You know, we are so moved and inspired by Mary Caldwell Dawson and her story and what she's done for the whole of the music industry and for American history. We're moved by her that one of the things that, you know, we want to do is, um, is, is, is look into um, uh, the past, you know, pull back, the, uh, pull out the voices from the past and, and uh, teach them to the emerging artists and to uh, the young voices of tomorrow and the young artists of tomorrow. So we're incredibly inspired by her and by the work that, um, you know, she's done. And, mm -hmm. and we, we want to see that live on, you know, we want to, uh, you know, now we've got the passion of Mary Cardwell Dawson, the, the opera that's going to be coming out, or they're not calling it an opera, they're calling it a play set to music because it's going to be a fair amount of dialogue too, oh. with uh, some stories from her life. Mm -hmm. So it's really going to be a, a real Mary Caldwell Dawson, you know, uh, a tribute. So it's being written right now. So I, I couldn't really speak on it because, you know, if that's you know to be to be seen. You'll just have to come back but, on the show when, when uh, we have that timeline. That. You come back on. So let me ask you this, because as I'm listening to you, so once this this building, this house is restored, will it be more of a museum? Will it be classes? What will happen there? Thank you so much for asking that question. So we do have plans um, for the restoration of it, and there's lots of beautiful, beautiful ideas. We're thinking about the first floor being a walkthrough museum, and then the second floor being an arts and cultural center where we can have leader albums, where we could have concerts, where uh, kids could take music lessons as they uh, once did, where we could even have the Med Mary Cardwell Dawson play. Uh, be performed there um, as well. So we would definitely want to see it restored to um, uh, our, an arts and cultural center as well. And one of the things that we want to do with the Denise Grace Foundation is that we want to have some of our young artists, some of the singers that come through our programs, become Mary Caldwell Dawson Fellows or become um, named after some of the hidden figures of some of the great hidden figures like um, Elizabeth Greenfeld or Ciceretta Jones or even some great uh, notables like Marian Anderson or Leontine mm -hmm. Price and to have them come um, uh, uh, through the center through programs that we establish at the new Mary Caldwell Dawson uh, National Opera House Center and to have those young artists go into the community and do outreach into the school systems, um, into, uh, you know, retirement homes, into uh, prisons, into, you know, to, to meet and greet, to share, to perform, to do, to exchange in that sort of way and really give back to the community what Mary Caldwell Dawson gave, you know, a real, a real gem. But that's one of the ways that we would like to see you know, um, one of the programs that we we, we certainly like to be, to see installed um, in the new uh, opera house. In the new opera house. So the best place yeah. for folks to go is to it's, your website. Well, they can certainly go to my website. I certainly okay. wouldn't discourage that. But uh, uh, but in terms of um, if people want to give their support, that's all being handled through the Pittsburgh Opera. Okay. So they can go to the Pittsburgh Opera uh, dot org, I think, slash N O H. Mm -hmm. And there's a page there that explains about um, the Opera House. And uh, Pittsburgh Opera is acting as fiscal sponsor for this project. So for those who want to make a contribution that way, they can certainly go through Pittsburgh Opera. And we, you know, encourage everybody and uh, everybody's help is enthusiastically received. Uh, you can certainly come to our web website, the Denise Graves Foundation, to find out more about what, what it is we're doing and to find out how you might, if you're a hands-on sort of person and want to help us with phone calls and sending out letters and all of that, we will be more okay. than happy to receive that kind of help. 
You have been amazing. You're going to be back on the show. I know it. So we, we'll just talk about that later. But I thank you so much for spending this time with us today while you're in Pittsburgh. We look forward to the production, the building, and all of that. Denise Graves, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I do appreciate that. Have a good evening. Thank you. You too. And we'll be all back right, with dear. closing thoughts in just a minute. All right.